Greetings developers, my name is David Leadley. I'm a senior WebEx developer evangelist at Cisco. Everything we do with WebEx for developers begins and ends at developer.webex.com. Including blog posts, I recently wrote about some common use cases for private embedded apps. What does that mean really? Well, you can submit your embedded app to the App Hub where it becomes publicly available for everyone in the world to use but there are some situations where that's not what you would want to do. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that. You can read this blog post and I'll tell you about at the end of this video, a webinar that we're doing later this month in September of 2022 uh, to discuss this in a little bit more depth. Uh, there are some reasons that we've listed here in the blog post, but I'm just gonna talk about it with you as we look through the process of developing an embedded app and deciding whether or not it should be public or private. When you're in the documentation for WebEx for developers, on the left side, you can see this link for developer sandbox. When you click on that, you can request the sandbox and you'll be emailed after provisioning the appropriate resources with a special username and email and password and URL. That's your whole world to pretend like you're a complete organization. As a developer, you can then go through all of the processes that any other organization will go through, but it's a protected sandbox carved away from the rest of the world so you can make a mess and clean it up again and it doesn't affect the flow of business. Inside of that sandbox, I have created an app for myself to demo to you today. I call it the App of Destiny and it doesn't do anything at all, so it's not very aptly named, but we can at least use it to look at settings. I'm going into my control hub. This is my sandbox that was issued to me when I requested that I have my own playground here. And when I look at the apps, which are available on the left-hand menu here, I can select embedded apps, and then I can turn on looking at, um, sorry, go to private, looking at in development apps, and we see the app of destiny is here. When I click on that, I can tell it to be approved inside of my organization, and I can come down and I can turn on uh, PII, which is personally identifiable information. This is a special place to look when you're thinking about whether or not you're going to have a private or public embedded app, because by default, a publicly available embedded app is not going to have access to PII. Things like my first name, last name, and any other personal information that's stored in my account including my email address and the ID of the meeting that I'm in. Now, if you have an app that needs to run just inside of your organization, maybe it's a private instance of a public service like Jira or Salesforce or, or GitHub, maybe it's behind your firewall, and the start URL for your app is only available to people inside of your organization, that would be a use case where it would make a lot of sense for you to just keep the app private. That means not going the extra step of submitting to the App Hub. That's not always going to be to your advantage though. If you're building an app that's meant to be shared with the world, you do want to accommodate people that have PII turned off and make sure that your app functions in both situations, with PII and without. If you are going to submit to the App Hub, which we do recommend if you're not one of the special use cases that would stay private, you can go through that process from within the app configuration. And I'm going to go all the way back here to the WebEx for Developers site where you can click on your account and see my WebEx apps. When I go in to edit this app, I can submit to WebEx App Hub. And here's where you cross the line from keeping it private to taking it public. We're going to discuss this a lot more in detail at an upcoming webinar. Uh, so I would encourage you to look through the apps that are available on the App Hub to get inspiration for what people are doing in public and consider if some of the apps that you have maybe in-house that uh, aren't currently an embedded app, if they could benefit by coming in as a private embedded app inside of your org. If you have any questions for us, you're welcome to post them on the community forum and or uh, join us at the event where we will be talking about this topic uh, to find that, if you go to WebEx for Developers, uh, developer.webex.com, and click on Resources, there's a section for webinars, and you can see and register uh, for 
upcoming webinars, such as this one that we will be talking about there. Again, you can check out the uh, blog post that goes into some detail on this. And we hope that whether you are doing a private or public embedded app, uh, that you'll build something and that you'll tell us what you're building, because we love to see what you make.